Well, we are out here again, hillside dump digging down the soupy water. Finally got Eli to come out. First find to come out is a Pabst Milwaukee embossed bottle brewing company. Turn of the century, I'd say. Got a really cool leaf or something embossed on it right there. Really cool. We'll go down here by the water and wash it off. Been digging here for about 12 minutes. Dug some cosmetic jars, but this is the first cool thing to come out. Yeah, look at that. Pabst Milwaukee with a B in the center with that leaf. That's really cool. This bottle not to be sold. Something on the bottom, very light. It's just a company, I think. WFNS. Mold line tapers off right about. Uh, let's see if we can focus. Right there. I think it's blown in mold. 1890s, turn of the century. Really good looking bottle. Sweet. Get back to you when we find something else. Literally about five minutes after I pulled out that Milwaukee Brewing AI, I pulled out this really cool melons or yeah, some food co. Melon. Melon. Boston, USA, large size. I have never seen one of those. Comment down if you uh, know anything about that. I've never, never seen one. It looks early, but sweet. Get back to you. Well, what we thought was a Bromo isn't. Uh, at least that would have kept Eli from going insane because he wants to dig a Bromo so bad. I don't want to over here keep on digging all the Bromos. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely too long to be a Bromo seltzer, I really think. But we'll get back to you when I uh, get a little bit more exposed. Alright, I'm about to pull it out. Ah. Oh. <coughs> uh. What? What is it? It's another brewing bottle with a really cool like pictorial. What? Look at that, guys. Look at that, Eli. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. What? Is this the Malt Marrow Company from Chicago? That is so cool, guys. Well, I'm going to let Eli get in the hole after that because his face just dropped and <laughs> he's only dug that he's only dug that uh fruit jar i have the depression now. but uh that's cool it's corked and everything i'll get back to you when i have it cleaned up all right i'm down here at the creek about to wash this off wow guys look at that says the Duffy Malt Whiskey Company, Rochester, New York. Wow, that's cool. Big watermelon slug plate. Um, definitely hand blown. 1890s, I'd say, turn of the century. Wow, that's really cool, guys. It's got the patent day on the bottom, I think. That sure does. Got a little bit of water right down there. There you go. Patented August 24th, uh, 1836, I think. I'm going to dry it up real quick. No, 1886. 1886, okay. So that's probably, I'd say, late 1890s. But wow, that is a beautiful bottle. I've never seen one like that before. And it's one reason why I know it's earlier, too. It, hell, it might even be 80s because of the uh, monogram right there. Monograms are in any bottle, or at least I know on drug bottles, uh, when, they're, when there's a monogram on them, it's the earliest, one of the earliest form of the bottles. But that's awesome. Only damage is a little bit of a lip chip right there, but sweet. Get back to you. Eli got a bottle. It's got embossing on it. Oh, now it's, uh, is it screw top? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a honey and almond cream. Yep. Yeah. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah, I dug one of those, a smaller version, exact same size last weekend I was here. They're really cool. They were around uh, 1870 something to 1960, I think. I'll let you dig another one, I don't care. Yeah, that's a good bottle. There's a page on the internet about this that's just miles long. It's nothing but the history and the different bottles that this company had, but they were around for a while, quite some time. They actually almost crashed in about the 40s, I think, somewhere around the Great Depression. But he's got something else. We'll get back to you. All right, he's about to pull this mud out. Why he does, I want to give a second to thank everyone for all the views and comments and everything. You guys doing awesome through all that. It's not even a boss. And it's not even a boss. <laughs> Big slick here. Let me see it. Oh, gosh. Yep, just the common ones. We have never pulled. Actually, I take that back. I did pull a ton of boss med out here last weekend. But majority that we find is uh, the ones with the measurement numbers on the side, which is just a pain in the butt. But one day, one of us is going to pull a med out that looks yeah, exactly one day like I'm this. I'm going to actually get a Bromo. <laughs> We've been pulling pieces out. When I say we, I say me. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll get back to you. Well, I didn't record it, but um, got this uh, Lydia Pinkham's medicine actually yeah you know what i'm not i'm not actually gonna keep this never mind i never seen this variant before i never see seen lydia e pinkham's medicine before it's probably still common but what i have is lydia e pinkham's um fruit vegetable or vegetable oil i think that's what it says but yeah i've never seen one like this so that's actually kind of cool I saw that it was a Lydia Pinkham's, I just didn't record it because that's just a common one, but I've never dug this variant before, so that's pretty cool. The pile continues to grow. I'll let you know when Eli pulls something out. Well, I'm trying to flash here. Get a brewing bottle back here. Or at least it's what it's looking like. I might have to put the camera off to the side. I'm going to grab it because it's a little far back there. I'll put it right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's actually it's embossed. Wow. All right. Another Terre Haute. An aqua. Uh, got some mud on the camera there. Oh, my hands are all dirty. Heck yeah. Our Terre Haute Brewing and an aqua. It's really nice. Mm, old line stops right there, so that's 1890s. Turn of the century. Heck yeah. So I'm talking about, I've never seen one of these. Actually, I have seen one of these in the Aqua and Antique Store, but getting back there. I think I got another bottle back there, maybe. I'm not too certain, but get back to you. It's been a while since I pulled out anything good. Been doing a whole lot of digging out tailings. Looked over here, and there's a, a med, more than likely a slick uh, extract or something like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and dig it out. See what it is. Hopefully it's something good, that'd be nice. Nope, just a slick nope, never mind. McCormick's Baltimore. That's a common one, really common, but they're cool. McCormick's has been around for years, years, decades. But, uh, it's all right. Nothing really special since that Terre Haute. Really hoping to apply a really cool med or a soda. It's weird because it's been 
last weekend was a whole lot of meds and stuff like that and this weekend's a whole lot of brewing bottles mainly the big scores have been that so hopefully we run to a pocket of sodas here soon that'd be really awesome but uh get back to you well i got a med back there at the at my feet um a couple heartbreakers there's a local indianapolis brewing been nice to have might take that home just to cut and turn to a big drinking glass that'd be kind of cool maybe maybe not i don't really have a equipment to do it but that'd be interesting got this med or wherever this was with like a cathedral really heavily embossed there another Terre Haute. that would have been a half of one but got this med in the back here. I'm not too excited about it. I think it's got the Illinois Glass Company symbol on it. Which is probably, it's a Dr. WB. Which, you know how I love those. Oh, shoot. Oh, even worse. It's slick. I don't know if there's anything else back there. I'll get back to you if I find anything else. Can't tell what it is, but I got a bottle back here. Oh, I got the light on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's bullet. Are you... Dude, what? It's another broken bottling horse bottle. It looks like a... Yeah. Oh wow, it's a Yonker Bottling Works bottle. That's cool. And it obviously broke. <sighs> I actually think that top might be it. Now nah, that's way too big. Why is it every freaking time I dig a local bottling works bottle, it's always the top or the bottom of it, it's snapped off. <sighs> That's got me going now. It's really disappointing. Get back to you. It uh, seems I got into myself into a little bit of a soda pit right here. A bit of a... Something like that. Got a knee high right here. Right next to where that uh, Yonker bottle and where this bottle was from. Guess what, guys? I think that this one's broken too. Yep. My gosh. Ugh. Oh, yeah. It's been a long time since I've dug a soda, it feels like it. It's been a long time since I uh, dug a, an intact bottling works bottle out of here. <sighs> I don't see anything else down there. Hopefully... If we can pull out a whole soda, that'd make my day. After those brewing bottles I pulled out, if I could, to wrap it up, we need to pull out a soda. So, get back to you. While we're uh, heading out for the day, it might be a part two to this video. So, not a continuation, but just part two. I'll be here tomorrow. Uh, really heartbreaker. After that, uh, Yonker Bottling Works would be, where'd it go? Where did that med go? Oh, right there. Would be this, from the Rexall Drug Store, I think that's what that said. So that would have been a really nice drug store. Druggist med don't know where from but also did pull out 
this early 1890s applied lip pharmacy or druggist. No embossing, sadly. Obviously, I mean, we really don't have luck when it comes to early meds in this dump, but I mean, it was this and then it was this, so hopefully that'll set things straight for tomorrow and we'll find some good stuff, but see you tomorrow.